welcome to the third attempt at the second Google Hangout. Yes, I had two instances of intense technical messing with, and now I'm hoping that the third time is a charm, since I would love to talk with you about you, your family, and Big Sur, the title of this Hangout. When you see me looking down and you wonder if I'm using index cards, the answer is yes, so that I can remember all the questions I want to answer for you about that, what it means to come out here in Big Sur, what do you need, what can you do, and things like that. And so the index cards will help pop my memory and allow me to answer your questions in a spontaneous way. So the first one I see is, should we bring firewood? Not necessary. We're out here in the firewood capital of the south coast of Big Sur. There is so much firewood here, and we provide it complimentary for you at the fire pit that is right here at the campground. It's a beautiful steel fire ring. I actually can't go up there because my internet connection doesn't go quite that far, and to do a hangout, I need an internet. Um, I'll do that on another YouTube one, though, when I just uh, record specifically around the camp area and show you what there is to enjoy here. Okay. Next question, how many people can we bring? Well, you can bring a pretty good sized group. I find that usually between 12 and 20 people is a great number. People can really hang out together and there's enough variation between the personalities that uh, you know there's, there's spontaneous new things that come up and yet there's a few enough people that you keep interacting again and again and deepening your connection with one another, which is one of the great things about camping is that you get to know each other so well. Okay, then my next question will be, are there other groups there too? Well, when you come here and reserve a place with me for your time, that's your time here. And there will not be other groups here because that's the time for your group to do the things that you love to do together and enjoy that time being who you are in your own best way. So you have a lot of space that you can just enjoy yourselves in, a big open field, a pond that you can swim in. You're in the middle of a tremendous number of uh, acres of the National Forest, many millions of acres here in the Los Padres, uh, and you're on a 44-acre private parcel, so there's lots of places where you can actually get out in the woods and not be in the general public's uh, area. However, there's also access directly to... Uh, hiking trails in the area that are very beautiful and uh, other types of recreation which I will address in one of the other questions which is what is there to do? Well, do your kids ever ask you that question? Mine sure did. When they were growing up it was always what is there to do mom? Right? <laughs> well, of course as a parent you're going oh please don't ask me that. There is everything. However, there was, it doesn't look like that to a kid. They want to know what is there to do. And when you get out here and you're all on your own, just you and, and the wilderness, that's the same question you're going to be asking. What is there to do? <laughs> you can ha just hang out and do nothing if you like. That's what most people like to do when they first get here. Just regroup and, uh, and just sit around. You know, uh, possibly have something chill to drink if it's a warm day, such as today, it's quite warm. Or, you know, just think about the fact that you actually got here. You know, many times just getting to the place you're going to is the, is the main thing about the whole idea of getting out and going somewhere, right? You actually got to the destination. So then you can, uh, if you brought your own stuff to amuse yourselves, you know, card games, board games, art projects, musical instruments, craft projects, whatever, you can dig into those. If you would like to do other things, there's other things to do. You can take hikes, there's some beautiful vistas right nearby. You can swim in the very large pond, which is fed by several, seven natural springs. You can uh, lay back and watch the stars at night, which is an amazing, amazing glory that you will never see in a town or city because there's too much light there. Here at dark, it's dark, except for the light of the campfire and whatever lanterns you have and possibly two or three lights of the neighbors' homes. That's all you're going to see. So you can, uh, you can really get into that. Okay, another question. What kind of amenities do we have? Well, I have a kitchen that's a very nice kitchen uh, equipped with most of the basic food supplies that you would need. Um, pots and pans, dishes, 
silverware, napkins, uh, basic spices, although if you have special things that you want to cook, you want to bring all that stuff. Um, and also, let it be known that I'm very happy to cook for you. That would be one of the things that could really make it a far more relaxing adventure for the parents, if particularly, is that you don't have to cook if you don't feel like it. If you love to cook and you're really into campfire cooking, great, so am I. So, uh, you know, we can work together on that and do it exactly the way that you would like to do it. Uh, there is a beautiful hot water shower. It's an outdoor shower. It's, you know, it's fully enclosed and very private, and yet you can look up into the sky and see that and have the glorious experience of stepping out of a hot shower and still being in camp without having to go home to get clean, right? Most people associate that, you know, you go camping, you get all grubby and, and gross and everything, and then you want to go home. You know, you, yuck, you want a shower really bad. Well, you can still have that feeling, but you don't have to have it the whole time, right? <laughs> if, if you or your children particularly should get uh, grimy and dusty, then you just step in the shower and it's all new again. It's great. There is, of course, a flushing toilet so that everyone can be comfortable with proper sanitation. There's lots of water to use uh, to, uh, you know, you can run a little sprinkler if the kids want to do that. Um, and um, there are picnic tables. Uh, as I said, there's a large fire pit, a fire ring, I should say. It's not a pit. It's a, a steel ring. We ask that there be only one fire and directly at that place, which is right next to water access, so that everyone's safe. Here in drought-stricken uh, California, we really are very aware of that sort of thing. So um, all of that is here for your enjoyment. Additionally, I have modern telecommunication. I'm speaking to you on my satellite internet connection, which also supports a phone system. Your cell phone will not ring. Uh, however, you will be able to send and receive text messages, check your email, um, and do things online with your uh, mobile tablet or laptop device. Uh, a lot of people really love that the cell phone doesn't ring. It's kind of a, a, a nice feeling, you know, you, you're, you're out of, you're fully out of the box. They're, they're, the thing is, there just isn't cell phone service in this region of Big Sur at this time. So uh, that's something that we can actually use as a benefit. Okay, uh, why is this location so great? Well, it's, for one thing, it's phenomenally beautiful. It's amazingly beautiful. It's right in the middle of a bowl of mountains on all sides, and it has a spectacular view down to the ocean as well. It is the only large piece of flat land in this entire region of Big Sur. So it is very special in that way already. And besides that, it has a redwood forest belt just down the hill from the camp area with a, a, a hiking loop, which in its other life is a motorcycle trail. So you can uh, get down into the woods and see other layers of vegetation different types of trees grow down the hill from here than what actually grows at this elevation. Uh, right behind me there are a couple of young redwoods. They are the highest redwoods up the hill. Further down you'll see some of the old giants. And there's lots of madrones, bays, pines, and other types of, uh, of trees as well. Um, wildflowers in season are spectacular here. So, uh, what about dogs? Well, if you are like me, you really love your dogs. And so, you are welcome to bring your dogs, and they can meet and play with my dogs. We're very sociable guys. I have a border collie. He was posing nicely in the last hangout, but he's decided to take the day off now. And I also have a little chihuahua, and they both really love other dogs. The first thing they want to know when people pull into the campsite is, are there dogs to play with? So we're good on that. If your dogs need to be contained for a part of the time, I have a small enclosure that can be used for that. Or some people bring X kennels um, or ex extended leads. And uh, there is dog management. And however, the, the short answer is yes, we're dog friendly. Will we need to bring supplies? Well, that's going to depend on what you want to do. If you would like to go for the fully supported experience, all you do is tell me what you would like to eat and bring your sleeping gear and I'll set up tents for you um, I, and uh, make sure with you that I have the, uh, the things that will make you comfortable such as sleeping pads, uh, cots, or air mattresses, or whatever. Um, and 
So if you don't want to cook, then all you're bringing is just you, your clothes and your bedding, very simple things and whatever personal items that you would like to have. Otherwise, if you decide that you want to go for bringing all your own things, particularly if you're a veteran camper, then we can just go over a little checklist and make sure everything is up to speed so that you're comfortable. Okay, what, are, what is there to do? We already, we already looked at that one. Um, so, great camping stories and just relaxing. That's what we want your family to have. Those are the best things. Those are the foundation of what's truly important in life, which is growing your family to be happy and successful people with a strong foundation and a good relationship with themselves, able to communicate openly and creatively, spontaneously. The basic style and rituals of camp go a long way toward helping that to happen. Now, I personally am extremely into basic. All right, I've lived out in the backcountry for all these years, and I just love basic. What's great about basic is that it always shows up. It's like the truth. You don't have to do anything. It just shows up. <laughs> right? There's no supporting it. There's no defending it. There's no explaining it. Basic is pretty self-evident. So uh, I have things set up so that basic is beautiful, and you'll be able to enjoy that. I don't think that basic means uh, anything short of the highest quality, however, so don't worry about that. I'm, I'm totally into quality, basic, and that's all. All right, so that's the cherry on top, is just having a really great style. You know, I believe in things like tablecloths and a nice presentation, that things should be truly beautiful while you're out here in the wild so that you can enjoy the natural beauty around you and let it just seep into your soul and nourish you in that deep way. It is totally my joy in life to watch that happen and to be there with you for that experience. So I hope I'll have the, the pleasure and the honor of sharing that with you. So slow down and focus on what's important first and everything will just kind of fall into place for you. Get in touch with me today and start planning the best time ever. My website, MattyBigSir.com, has all the tools to communicate with me and it has uh, the retreat camp checklist will let you know more about what's here and let me know what's important for you. It saves us time in planning. There are lots of pictures on there of the various things that are in this campsite area and projects and, uh, and other types of activities that I'm engaged in as a living and working Big Sur artist. And being with you as your hostess in this beautiful, gorgeous, spectacular, fantastic and inspiring environment is a very important part of my mission. Excuse me, I'm swishing my cat away from the computer. So I do hope that I will have the, the chance to talk with you about this and welcome you into this wonderful experience, building the relationships and memories of a lifetime with those you love. You and yours in Big Sur. Take care now. I'll be back in touch with you soon. I hope that you'll join me live for, for Hangouts and let me know what's important to you. I like doing this so much that I'm going to be doing it quite often. So do come back and visit rather often. All right? Take care now.